Okay, so now that you have completed the notes on rectangles, we're going to do the practice problems here in the workbook, just as we normally do. Um, these problems here, we're only going to work through number one, number three, and number seven, because they are a little bit long. Um, so just to give us enough room to work it out, these are the ones that we are going to work through. Number one, it says if segment AC is 2x plus 13, so that's this segment here, and segment DB is 4x minus 1, so this segment right here, find the length of DB. Well, we learned in the notes that the um, diagonals of a rectangle are actually congruent, so those lengths are the same, so we can set the expressions equal to each other. I'm going to start up here just to give myself a little bit more room. So 2x plus 13 equals 4x minus 1. And then I'm going to go through and solve for x. Let me zoom in a little bit here too. Okay. So now I'm just solving for x. And I get x equals 7. However, it doesn't ask for what the variable equals, it asks for the length of db. So now I'm going to take the expression for db, which was 4x minus 1, and plug in x equals 7. So 4 times 7 minus 1 gives me 28 minus 1, so 27. So the length of db equals 27 units. Okay, so now we're going to move down to number three. Three says that segment AE is 3x plus 3, so that's, let me use a different color here. So that's this segment right here. And then segment EC is 5x minus 15. Um, because it is a parallelogram, these diagonals do bisect each other, so this length is the same as this length. And we can again set the expressions equal. So I will do 3x plus 3 equals 5x minus 15, and then solve for x again. Okay, so I get x equals 9. It actually asks for the length of AC. When I look at the picture, AC is that entire length right there. Um, so there's different ways that you could do this, but I'm going to just take AE and double it. If AE is 3x plus 3 and the diagonals bisect each other, then two AEs would equal the entire length. So now I can plug in 9 for x. And 2 times 30 is 60. So AC is 30 is 60 units. Okay. Now moving to number seven. We're talking about angle measures now. It says if the measure of ABD, this angle here is this expression and the measure of CDB, this angle here, find the measure of ABD. Um, so they give us expressions for both. What happens here is these angles are actually equal in measure. And the reason why is if you have two parallel lines, which it is a parallelogram, and a transversal, then your alternate interior angles are congruent. So I know that these two angles are congruent and I can set those expressions equal to each other. So 7x minus 31 equals 4x plus 5. And I'm going to go through and solve for x again. Okay, so I get x equals 12. This asked me to find the measure of ABD. Um, ABD was 7x minus 31, so I'm going to take the 12 that I got over here and plug it in for x. So 7 times 12 minus 31. That would give me 84 minus 31, 
which equals 53 degrees. So the measure of ABD is 53 degrees. Okay, so these examples here are very similar to the ones that we solved out. Um, so I'm not going to go through any more examples here. Now we're going to move down to the proof and we're going to work through the proof together. So we're going to start with the given and they also give us a picture over here to work with which is nice. The first part of the given is that rectangle RSTV is a rectangle. Um, and then the second given, I'm going to wait to put that here in a second. It says to prove that RUV, so this triangle here, is congruent to SUT. Okay, so starting with the given RSTV is a rectangle, then since it's a rectangle, then angle V and angle T must be right angles. So angle V and angle T are right angles. That is because of definition of rectangle. Then third step. Well, if they're both right angles, then angle V must be congruent to angle T. And that's because all right angles are congruent. So now we have an angle in common here. Four, we're going to go back to the given. The given also said that U is the midpoint of VT. So U is the midpoint of segment VT. That was given. And since it is the midpoint, that means this segment is congruent to this one. So we can say that VU is congruent to UT because of definition of midpoint. Six, where are we going from here? Now we can also say that segment VR is congruent to segment ST. And the reason we can say that is because opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So since this is a rectangle, it is a parallelogram, and the opposite sides would be the same measure. So opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And the last step. We can say that triangle RUV is congruent to triangle SUT because of side angle side, side angle side. So they have side angle side congruence. Okay, so let's do one section on the back. So flip over the workbook to the back page. You can cross this out here. And we're gonna look at seven through 12 on the back. So here it's saying quadrilateral GHJK is a rectangle. Find each measure if measure of angle one is 37 degrees. Okay, before I go through each individual angle, let's just look at this over here and fill in the angle measures. Um, we're told this is a rectangle, so these two angles must add to 90 degrees. So I'm going to do 90 minus 37 to get 53 degrees. Okay, what else do I have here? Well, since these diagonals are the same measure and since they bisect each other, we actually have isosceles triangles. Um, in an isosceles triangle, this angle measure is the same as this angle measure. Um, we also have isosceles triangle over here as well. Um, how do we get the angle measures down here? Well, if you look at it, you actually have two parallel lines and a transversal. And alternate interior angles are congruent, so therefore this is also 37 degrees. And because it's an isosceles triangle, this is 37 degrees. 
this is 53 degrees, this is 53 degrees, and so is this. Now the angles in the middle, you can figure it out because you do have a tri you have triangles here. Um, 180 minus 37 minus 37 gives you 106. So angle 6 is 106 degrees, and angle 7 would be its supplement at 74 degrees. I'm trying to fit it all in here. 74 degrees. So now you can plug in the answers here. This is 53 degrees, 37 degrees, 106 degrees, 37 degrees, 53 degrees, and 74 degrees. And as you just heard, my planning period's almost over, so that is going to be it. Now you can start your homework on Schoology.